Hello, it's Plus Reports, where we bring you some of the stories and events that made the news recently. And in case you missed out on some of them, don't worry, we've got you covered in this edition. Welcome, I'm Jacinta Obiuko. Everyone knows it's election year almost. I mean, starting from this year already in terms of preparations. And so it's not surprising that INEC has been making the news. And this time around, the nation's electoral body said it would be working with security agencies to improve the accessibility of the permanent voters' cards. INEC National Commissioner and Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee Festus Okoye in an exclusive interview also hinted that the agency has retired the use of smart card readers. In other words, it's a thought to uh, goodbye to smart card readers Wahala. With the introduction of a new technology for better operations in the coming elections. And interestingly, Mr. Okoye said something to the politicians, political parties, and the candidates. Take a look. 72.7 million collected their permanent voters card before the 2019 general elections, according to the nation's electoral body. This represents 86.3% of the over 84 million registered voters in the country. According to INEC, the percentage of the registered voters as at March 2019 stands at 49.78%. INEC National Commissioner and Chairman Voter Education Festus Okoye said the commission is taking voter education very seriously, especially in the registration of the permanent voter's card. In the next few days and few weeks, we are going to have a meeting with the security agencies and with the key players in the electoral process in terms of rolling out to the 8,809 uh, registration areas in the country to give access to more people uh, for purposes of uh, registration and also to take the registration much more closer to the, uh, to the people. Okoye confessed how challenging and resource-wasting it is for the agency and the entire country when PVCs are not collected. I want to appeal to Nigerians that the commission spends money, the country spends money to bring these permanent voters' cards. And when we spend money to print them, and we spend money in terms of paying registration officers uh, to go uh, 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 for the purposes of distributing some of these permanent voters' cards, and people do not come to collect, it, it, it doesn't tell well of us as a people and as a country. So I think that we must realize the power in the, in the PVC and make sure that we collect our permanent voters' cards if we have taken the pains uh, to carry out uh, registration. Elia, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, Bode George, had suggested that INEC adopts the U.S. electoral system come 2023. The system we must use must be a proven system, system that has been used, tested, and proven. We know a country that had just concluded their election, and they used a system that was near perfect. That is the kind of system we should buy. Okoye has a response to this. We have retired the smart card reader. Permanently. So you are not going to be hearing about the smart card reader anymore. Uh, this is because technology evolves. What we now have is what we ca call the bimodal voter accreditation device or the BVAS. So this is the gadget we are going to be using from now on. And we are hopeful that these beavers will last uh, us for at least two or three electoral cycles. And we just plead with Nigerian politicians and the political parties and the candidates that they should go back to the grassroots. They should go and canvass for votes. They should go and ap appeal to the electorates for votes. 
because any politician or any political party or any candidate that thinks that he or she can manipulate the electoral process uh, through crowdsourcing and through uh, trying to manipulate the processes of accreditation we receive a, the shock of his or her life. Ekiti and Oshun State are by now preparing for their governorship election, perhaps a testing ground for INEX plans and new technology. Justice, one leg, fairness, one leg, and equity. These are the three tripods on which the democratic dispensation and the platform sits. Okoye insisted that though the commission is promised in electronic voting and collection of results, it will not be at the comfort of people's homes yet, as it is a long-term project. Now I'm sure that you are aware it's resource wasting for both the INEC and the entire country when you don't collect your PVCs. Hmm? Please let's do the right thing, get registered, collect your PVCs and be willing to exercise your civic responsibility. An illegal bunkering, River State Governor Nelson Wike has vowed not to spare anyone involved in the illegal bunkering and refinery activities which has led to soot pollution. Governor Wike maintained that his administration will not succumb to any form of blackmail or sentiment that will be stirred by the perpetrators in an attempt to frustrate efforts at curbing the hazardous business. Governor Wike takes a tour of the illegal bunk green sites and it's a long walk through the track roads into the forest of Ogodo community in Ikwere local government area. He moves into the forest of Iba community in Emoha local government area with the River State Commissioner of Police Iboka Friday and other security chiefs. The mission is to uncover some crude oil illegal refining sites. Governor Wike talks tough. But you can't be doing this and be killing my people. No reasonable government will allow that. Right. And I can tell you, with all due respect, we will take this matter. Where's that one, Jerry? I'm here, sir. We will take this matter very seriously. That's General. All these matters with police. You have to retrieve the files so that we can prosecute the matter on our own. On our own. I don't want any compromises anywhere. Mm. And then, too, it will not be in the ministry. You have to constitute a legal team. Go and get our friends all over the country. Constitute a legal team so that we can do this prosecution to the last. Governor Wike directs the State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Professor Zakio Sadango, a senior advocate of Nigeria, to take over the case files of illegal crude oil refinery operators arrested by the police. It's a serious matter, and I'm going to take it. If I is a war, it's not for people. The yeah. cartel. Yeah. You yeah. must go and arrest that uh, chief WJ uh, Watcher. WJ Watcher. Yeah. You must arrest that um, Fubara Ohaka. I want uh, chief problem is uh, uh, you, you must arrest them. Yeah. You must. It doesn't matter how highly placed you are. If you like be the paramount ruler, if I need a regional ruler that is involved, pick him for me. Yes, sir. Let him understand that the law does not respect anybody. And I can assure the people of River State who will fight this matter headlong. I will fight it to the last. He wonders why the establishment of modular refineries, as promised by the federal government, is yet to function. And I said to the federal government, if you're not willing to do anything, don't promise people. Don't promise people. He told you, you do modular. How can you allow this modular refinery? How? How? And the DPO that was involved, please tell IG. I have no right to dismiss the police officer. But I tell IG, I don't want the man again in my state. People should take him to another state to do a bunker, not a uh, state. Perhaps this could be the straightening point to restoring clean air in areas affected by suits in the state. Also speaking of illegal eye bunkering, the Commandant General of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, Ahmed Abubakar Audi, has deployed a special intelligence squad to River State for a mission to unravel allegations against the anti-vandal unit of the state command. This followed a viral video in which the chairman of Obia, a well, local government area of the state, alleged that the NSCDC exhibit yard at Oboguru has been used for illegal bunkering activities. <laughs> 
Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Co. NSTDC in River State has discredited the viral video alleging that the exhibit's yard of the command is used for illegal oil bunkering. The command spokesperson Michael Oguntuashe, who spoke with journalists during an inspection visit to the exhibit yard at Ubogoro in Obiakpo local government area of the state, said the facilities is used for storage of products with ongoing litigation. He explained that further investigation into the allegations has been ordered, calling on the people to disregard wrong information on social media. We are here, like I said, to prove to the general public and the world that Oboguro Jetty is having all arrested and handed over products from Sister Security Agencies and the NSCDC pending their forfeiture in the Federal High Court. What you are seeing over there is the talk boat that was handed over to the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps and already the cases have been concluded and they are forfeited and it's forfeited already to the federal government. Reacting to the rumored plan by some hoodlums to destroy the NSCDC exhibit yard, mm. the command emphasized that such an act will be strongly resisted. These drums you are saying we are all removed from that from those boats. We have two hundred and eighty seven of these drums filled with these illegal products, which we are also handed over to us. If you check down, you will see that the boats are already sinking. So all these boats, all these drums were salvaged from those boats from sinking because they are exhibits which will be tendered in the law court. He also speaks on steps taken by the Corps over allegations of involvement in illegal oil bunkering leveled against officers of the command. The Commandant General of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps has constituted a committee to look into the case. And that is the reason why the anti vandal was disbanded, just to let you know that the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps leadership does not in any way condone any act of indiscipline. Correspondent recalls that the Commandant General of the NSCDC, Ahmed Abubakar Audi, visited the jetty yard to ascertain the volume of exhibit at the Ogogoro jetty during a walking visit to the state in December 2012. It's time for a short break now. We'll be right back with more. 